Hey everyone, I want to show you guys how to use a wand to get this vintage look that I'm wearing right now. So stay tuned. Alright, so my hair has already been blown out and I'm going to go ahead and spray some anti-gravity in it for heat protection. So the goal of this look is to use a wand to give like a modern vintage wave. So I'm going to have all these curls going away from my face and we're going to use the same direction so that when it comes to this side, it's actually going to be towards my face. So it's going to be kind of like vintage glam with like a hint of like textured modern. So for this vintage look, I'm going to go ahead and keep this side part and I'm going to section my hair so I start at the bottom and then work my way up. So I like to go temple to temple like that, twist my hair, give yourself this cute little thing right here, and then I can work on the bottom. So after you actually section it so it doesn't fall down, you're going to start on the left side. Now remember, this curl is going away from your face. So I, I'm right-handed, so I hold this, elbow up, and the iron's down. If you try to wrap your hair like this, you're going to burn your face. Don't do that. So it's darting down like that. I'm going to let the hair twist as I wrap around the wand. My hand is staying pretty stationary. So I use my finger right here. It's pretty hot, so it's good to go. Now watch as I put this in my hand, remove the wand, and set it down. Make sure you're not burning anything. I'll let it sit here for a second. I take it down. If you want to add some length at this point while it's still a little warm, you hold it down. It gives you a little bit of length. You see how it did that? Cool. So we're just going to work around the whole entire head. Okay, so now you spent all this time, you got everything curled, make sure you check the back so you don't have any like long mullet strands, and you're going to use session spray. You're going to go ahead and lay it on, like that, and then you let it chill, maybe you do your eyebrows at this point, um, but don't comb it immediately. All right, I'm pretty impatient, so I feel like we're good now. Now you're going to use a wide tooth comb, texture comb by Kevin Murphy, whatever you want to use, and don't be afraid, like, comb this. 
so you can see that. So I want to show you the difference between one side combed and the other side not. So this side is really soft and this side is a little bit, you know, not. <laughs> so we'll comb the other side now. Melt everything together. And with session spray, you don't have to worry about it. You can just comb it over and over again. It actually makes it look better in my opinion. All right, you keep combing, keep combing. And you see how you get those ridges in there? That's what gives it that vintage vibe. All right, we went from grandma chic to pretty cool looking. Okay, so the hair is all combed out. Now I want to give it some sass and some umph without putting any extensions in or anything like that. So I'm actually going to use bedroom hair. It makes your hair really have some like texture in it and it actually makes it look larger. So I'll show you. So you're going to tilt your head, let the hair dangle, and then short bursts upwards, okay? And it smells amazing. I may use this as perfume. So you see how that made it look a little bit more modern? I'm actually gonna do it to this side too so you guys can see. So now I'm using this hand going over the top this way and just popping it. First up, like that. And I like that so much better. And then you can retuck if you wanna have that little party piece right there. All right, everyone, so this is the final look. So you can see it's got a lot of movement. I can still touch it even though I have a whole bunch of product in there, it's just gonna last forever. And if I go somewhere and the wind blows, it's still going to hold its shape, especially since we have that texture spray in there.